hello guys this is sonam today in this video we are going to discuss how to copy email attachment to a specific folder within a sharepoint document library in our last tutorial we learned how to copy folders and files based on scheduled time period i hope you like this video and if you haven't watched that video then check it once and you must get ideas how to the schedule flow works in power automate Let's start this session to see how to copy email attachment from emails and store into a specific folder automatically. This is how the whole flow will look like. So let's build this simple automated flow to achieve our goal. So here I just log in office365.com with my Microsoft tenant address. Once the once it will open, let's go to that app launcher and click on that power automate. In the app launcher, you can see all the applications that integrated with the Microsoft 365. And as we are going to create a flow, so we need to the Office 365 by micro. We just need to open the power automate. So click on the ellipses and go to open new tab. So it will open in the new tab. Then similarly to store the attachments in the SharePoint document. Library, we must need the SharePoint, so click on the ellipses and go to that open in new tab. So, I just opened my SharePoint site. So, in that SharePoint site, I have just created a document library named attachment from emails within that document library i have created a folder that is ts info emails so and it's now it is the folder is empty so whenever the emails will come it will automatically store in this folder so let's create this flow to achieve this click on create in power automate go to create then click on the automated cloud flow here we will give a flow name and select a trigger and click on create so suppose i'm giving a flow name that is copy email attachments to follow so now choose your flow trigger so without trigger we can create a flow so let's select the trigger it's mandatory to select the trigger so trigger must be the when an emails arrive so whenever the email will arrive then flow will trigger so where is that when an email types the this one so select this then click on the create so now the trigger is showing that a folder is automatically selected that is inbox if you want to change this then you can change it here click and you can change the any folder to come the emails expand this trigger and include attachment set it as yes and then close it and click on the new step under the clear new step we will create a file we will add an action that is uh, that will create the file okay so add an action that create file under the sharepoint so click here and then give the site address so site address is sonom and under that sonom the folder path is attachments from email so select this one and the folder path folder path sorry the folder path click on that folder path folder path should be the attachments from emails sorry under the attachment from emails there is a folder right so ts info then we will give the file name so file name should be the attachments name so here and we can see it will create an op apply to each action it will create an loop so next we will get and file content so it will create a apply to each action that means it will apply to each files when an emails arrive if there is multi number of attachment then it will apply to each attachment and that's it so just overlook it is attachment content so click now we will click on save and let's test it and now the flow is ready to go and we recommend you to test it so flow is automatically we notify us so let's test it and click on manually and click on test so to to see it work now send a new email in your inbox so i have just another user id in my email sorry i have just add another test user email id so yeah this one is user 2 so from here i will send an email with attachment to myself so click on new email to show me let's suppose from email to folder suppose uh, hi this is a test email 
so here we will add some attachments so i just added one image file so and another one is text file and df and a excel file so let's just email and that keep it simple and click on the same and we can see it will coming to our email uh, when the email arrives it will retrieve that attachments and and create as a new files under that and copy that files to into the sharepoint folder so let's check it and we can see the it's showing us that flow ran successfully that means within four second it will complete this task copy that email attachment to from emails to sharepoint document library so let's see and let's check this so in the ts info emails let's see whether it is coming yeah now all everything is coming to in our emails folder so this is how we can copy a email attachment from emails to the sharepoint document library so uh, i hope you guys like this video and you enjoy this tutorial so for more free videos tutorials on sharepoint power apps power automate python Power BI, machine learning and many more. Please subscribe to our channel and please like, share and subscribe. And thank you guys. Thank you. Have a nice day.